Hey everybody, today we're going to go over real quick how to do a vent check on the LTV 1200. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and slide the protective cover off. That'll expose all of our buttons. So from here we're going to press and hold the select button and then press the on standby button. It will power up. Say remove patient, we hit the silence button and it will say vent check. So this is where we want to start. We're going to go ahead and hit select. First thing it's going to pull up is the alarm. So when we press the, the select button, we should hear the alarm go off, which we do. We press it again, it stops. Now it's showing display. So with the display function, it should show every light on here should light up. We press select, and you can see all the lights are lit up, illuminated as they should be. So when we confirm that, we press select again. Our next function is going to be control. So we press select. If we press any of the other buttons, it'll tell you what it is. Tidal volume, pressure control, inspiration time, pressure support, FiO2, sensitivity, and so on all the way through. So that all passed. We're going to press select again. It's going to go to a leak test. So for the leak test we're going to need our vent check tubing. We keep that right next to the vent. By the bench here we have our patient end and the end that's going to go to the vent itself. So we take the tubing, we're going to press it onto the side of the vent, then we have three hoses to cook up. They're all color coded, you can't make a mistake. One's a press on fitting, the next one is going to be the yellow one, it goes to the yellow coordinated, and the next one goes white to white. Once they're hooked up and tight, we're going to take the test along out of the accessory bag here. Hook it to the vent circuit. Now we're ready to go ahead and hit select. And you'll hear the vent starting to power up. And in just a second, you'll see the test along go ahead and inflate. And it's going to start its leak test. And you can see here for the leak test it says 0 0.1 and it does pass. So we'll go ahead and we will press select again. That'll bring us to the exit screen so we hit select again and we're done. To turn the vent off we press the on standby button again, hold it in, and then press the silence reset button. That's all there is to it. Okay, everybody, we're going to go over how to charge the LTV 1200 vent. We've got our AC power pack. We got that out of the accessory bag. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And plug it in. The opposite end of that, you'll notice radius with a square on top. Like most medical devices, it'll only go together one way. Take the two pieces. We're just going to simply click it together. You'll hear it click and it won't come apart. Once we make the connection and we will hear it click, we'll see the batteries light up here. We'll have an amber light, then they'll go green. These batteries are all full, so it lit all the way up, both battery packs. And then once these two are charged, it will charge the internal battery pack in the LTV 1200 itself. On the side of the vent, you'll see another connection over here. We don't ever want to charge from this connection because by doing this, it'll only charge the internal battery in the LTV 1200 and not the two auxiliary batteries as well. By plugging into the lower port, we charge both two external batteries and the internal. Um, that's all there is to it. We leave it on there. The batteries will light up and the charge indicator will get greater as we get full. 
when everything is full, you'll see this light up here. It'll say external power and the, everything will be green. Okay, so one additional thing you'll note with these side clips, they are made to only go one way. But on this auxiliary battery pack, you could connect this side to this side and those would clip into place. We don't ever want to do that because that will create a dead short and damage the batteries. So don't ever clip these two together. Really, these should always be connected and we'll charge off the lower port. 